Hello and welcome to East Midlands Today, I'm Elise Chamberlain. First tonight, firefighters from across our region have been tackling a huge blaze at a scrap metal yard in Nottingham. It broke out shortly before 5.30 this evening in an industrial estate. At its height, around 100 firefighters were dealing with the flames and the fire service says it may be there for days. Navtesh Johan reports. Next, there's been a surge in COVID cases as around 100 pupils and staff at Willsthorpe School in Long Eaton tested positive for COVID-19. New data shows the weekly infection rate for the whole of Erewash has risen almost sixfold to 65 per 100,000 people. That's the third highest in England. Amy Payne reports. Long Eaton. Businesses across the East Midlands are testing new ways of working. As lockdown restrictions ease, the BBC has questioned employers across the country about when staff might return to the office. At least 60% of firms in our region are considering introducing a mix of home and office working, as Emily Anderson reports. The polls have now closed after a day of voting. Each county in the East Midlands is electing a police and crime commissioner. County and parish councillors will also, of course, throughout the rest of the day. Now, finally, there are these are indeed exciting times for the city of Derby. The finishing touches are being applied to its new £18 million Museum of Making, which opens later this month, as Simon Hare reports. Well, that's all from the late news team. But before we go to the weather, we couldn't resist just showing you this ink this evening. Amazing. Now let's get the weather with Anna. Good night.